Welcome. In today's video lesson, we're going to be looking at arrays, some advanced array uh, algorithms, and we're going to be looking at if we've got two separate arrays that both contain the same type of information, how do we merge them? How do we combine them into one array? So, what we're going to do, we need three steps when you're going to merge two arrays. The first step is you need to add all the values of the first array into the new array. So take all the values that are in array 1, for example, and put them into a brand new array. And then you can take all the values from the second array and put them into the new array that you created that has got, already got the first array's elements in. So that's what we're going to do for the second step. Now, if you've got multiple arrays that you want to merge, so you can keep this going through these steps. For example, you've got three or four arrays that you want to merge, then you just keep adding them on, adding them on, adding them on to one array. So one like merge array. Okay. Now, the third step you don't have to do, but it's if you want the array to have only unique values. Say, for example, there is a 7 in the first array and a 7 in the second array, and you don't want two 7s to be in your merged array. Then you can just run the remove duplicates algorithm, and there's a video for that. You can go check out that video um, and just run that algorithm, and that will remove all the duplicates in your merged array. So that you'll have only the unique values that, from both of these two arrays. So let's have a look at how this actually works. So yeah, we've got two arrays. You can see they are different sizes. Um, the ones only got four elements, the only ones got six. Um, but the first one can take up to six. So when we make our merge array, the array that we're going to put all the values into, it's very important to make sure that that merge array has the capacity, the number of elements that it can hold, to take all the elements from both arrays. Now, I know there's only four elements in the first array, but it could take six. So we want to make sure that because the first array can take six and the second array can take six, we want to make sure that our merge array can take at least 12 of those values. So there you can see it's got 12. So whatever array you're going to be putting all the values into, make sure that it can take a lot more than at, or at least all the events, all the elements from the, all the arrays that you want to put in. So make sure that the capacity of it is quite high. Okay, so the first step, as we said, we're going to take all the values that are in the first array. So there you can see the first array. You can take all those elements, that's so 7, 5, 3, and 1, and we're going to put them into our merge array. And then continue from the end of that at position 5, we're going to start looking at the second array and put all the values from the second array into the merge array. And so there we have a merge array that contains all the elements from both arrays. But as you can see, there's a couple of ones there, there are a couple of threes, a couple of sevens in that merge array. If you only want unique values, you would then run the, un the remove duplicates algorithm. Go run that algorithm on the merge array and then you should be left with something that looks like this. Okay, so let's go see how this works in an actual Delphi program. Okay, so here we've got a program and I just wanted to show you we've got two arrays. They both can take uh, 10 elements and they've got some numbers in them already. So we want to merge those two arrays. Now, you'll notice here that I've actually got two, technically two merge arrays. I've got one temporary array, which is the same as the merge one. I want you just to highlight here. You see that it goes from 1 to 20, because I want to be able to take all the elements from the first array and all the elements of the second array. Okay, so note the double capacity of this merge array. Now, the reason why I've got a second array here, um, this little temp one, is because we want to run the remove duplicates. Now, if you remember the remove duplicates algorithm, it takes all the values and puts the, the no duplicates in a brand new array. So what I'm going to technically be doing is I'm going to put all, I'm going to first merge the first and second array as is into this temporary um, array. And then once it's in the temporary array, then I'll run the remove duplicates to be able to um, store whatever's the, in the array temp, but only the unique values into the merge array. So that's a little trick you might have to take note of when you do. And so we've got this merge size and temp size, which tells us how many elements are actually in those respective arrays. So let's have a look. We've got, uh, we're going to display both arrays and then we can display the final array and then we're going to merge them both. So these are the steps involved. So step one and two, we're going to put the values into the temp array. As you can see here, we've got to put them into the temp array. So we are going to run, okay, hey, temporary, we've got temp size equals zero. So it starts off being zero. And we loop from one till the end of the first array. And we just keep increasing temp size, position one, putting the value in position one, in position one of the temporary. And then take 
the second value in the first array and put it into temp array and the third and fourth and so on until we reach the end of the first array. So once this block has been finished, it should contain all the values from the first array, all those first six values. So after this little block here, our temp size should be six because it contains six values. Now we're going to run from one to the end of the second array. Now because temp is a six, it's now going to move up to seven. So from position seven, it's going to start putting in the first value from the second array into the temporary array. Temporary array. Oh, sound like a sushi tempura. So we can take the, the first value in the second array into the seventh value of the temporary array. And then so on and so on. And once we've done that, all those values should be in the temp array. Okay. And then once that's done, we then run the remove duplicates. Now there's a whole video on that. So we, instead of using the main, we're using the temp variable. We're going through here. And so there's this algorithm. If you're unsure about the remove duplicates algorithm, go check out our video for it. But that's basically what's going to happen. So as you can see over there. So what I'm doing over here is I just want to just say I'm displaying over here the temporary array. So you, you'll see the one that hasn't been removed the duplicates. If you remember, yeah, the remove duplicates takes everything from the temporary array and puts the remove duplicates values into the merge array. So we're going to see when I display the temporary array what it's going to look like without the duplicates. So let's run it and see what it looks like. So yeah, we compile our program. Boom, boom. Hopefully there's no errors. Okay, so let's go. Boom. Okay, so here we've got our program and we're displaying both arrays. So there you can see there's array one and there's array two. Okay, now when I say display the final array, I'm actually only displaying the temporary. Now, if I click on it now, there's nothing in it because we haven't run the merge yet. So now when I click on the merge, it will have done the merge. Now, this is only displaying the temporary array. This, that's the array that contains all the values as is without the remove duplicates in it. So if I run it, boom, there you can see from one to seven, it looks exactly the same as that. And then if I go down over here and then from eight onwards, not go up from eight, not from eight, from, yeah, from, yeah, from eight onwards, from seven onwards, because there's only six values, no, there's six values there. So from seven onwards, there we go, from seven, look at there, there's a five, four, nine, five, four, nine. You can see that the values from the second array have been put into the, the temporary array. So that's just step one and step two. So now I'm going to change things up a bit. All I'm going to do here is when I display the final array, I'm not going to display the temp array, I'm now going to display the merge array. So that the merge array is what it's going to take everything from the temp array and put it into the merge array, but without the duplicates. That's what the remove duplicates algorithm does over here. So I think that's all we need to do for that button. Let's just double check, merge, merge, merge. I think that's all right. Let's run it now. So now when we display the merged array, it should contain no duplicates. So display it. Yes, we can see our values. We're going to do the merge. And now when I display the merge array, you'll see there's only eight elements, but you'll see it contains all the elements from both of them. Okay. So there we go. And that's how you do a merge. For more videos in our video series, and especially that one about remove duplicates, you better go have a look at how to do a remove duplicates if you want to be able to do this particular algorithm successfully. But more videos on arrays and other stuff Delphi related, please go to our YouTube channel, subscribe to us, uh, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, give us your feedback. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.